Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today we are going to be playing with the Feet on the Ground palette by Made by Mitchell, which is Mama Mama Mitchell. <laughs> and this is the colour story we have to play with. I'm so excited. I have heard so many people rave about the quality of the shadows and I've seen some amazing looks. So I was so, so excited to get it. It did come I can grab it it did come in this case which i think is really cute and uh, could be good for if we're ever allowed to travel again for taking some makeup taking a palette i like it anyway <laughs> so it could come in handy with my uni work maybe i could store some pens and pencils in it we'll see but anyways if you want to see how i created this look using the feet on the ground palette then just keep on watching Right, so my eyes are primed and firstly I'm going to be dipping into Ain't, this gorgeous green down here. It's uh, rather difficult to, to hold this one up, it's a bit bigger than I'm used to. So I'm just going to be placing that in the crease, I don't know if I've picked too big a brush for this. That'll be okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> as soon as I saw everybody using this, I had to have it. So I grabbed it when it was on sale. So many of my friends have been absolutely raving about this palette. And uh, obviously, well, they were raving about both of them, both of the uh, Made by Mitchell palettes, but obviously, this was the one I was always going to go for because of the greens. I'm a green lover. <laughs> this is actually working really nicely, this brush. So the brush I'm using is from Moda. It's a fluffy brush. I've got hair on the end of it. It's just a fluffy brush. And uh, I usually use smaller ones for here, but for some... Strange reason I grabbed this one. This is such a nice green. It's blending out beautifully. So I've just swapped over to this um, Morphe brush, little fluffy one um, from the M -M -M Mitchell collection. And I'm just gonna dip back into Ain't and that's better. Right. Okay, so going back in with that Moda brush, I am going to be dipping into Bittersweet. This really beautiful kind of, it's like a greeny yellow. And I'm going to use that over the edges here to blend them out. Ooh, I like what this is doing. There's quite a bit of kick up in this shade. But I don't mind that. I'm just gonna go in with this uh, Beauty Bay BB204. Um, back into bittersweet just to see if I can build up that oh yes that's better so back in with ain't to re-intensify in here I'm just going to bring that onto the edge of the lid here so I think I'm going to deepen up the outer out of V with uh, the black. These colours are beautiful. So beautiful. And um, back in with bittersweet. Thank you. 
and just flipping between the two brushes just to get a really nice blend between the two colours there. Beautiful. Right, so I'm just taking um, a little Morphe brush, it hasn't got uh, a name or number, just a little fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into Ammo, <laughs> Ammo, -mo -mo -mo? I don't know, Ammo, <laughs> the black there and I'm going to just use a little bit at a time of this because I don't want the black to overtake the look so just little bits at a time this black is just blending so beautifully into this green I cannot get over how blendable this is so I'm just going to run the tiniest bit of that black just under the edge here it's kind of mixed with the green now where I've been blending I'm going to take a tiny bit of ink these shadows are something else I can so see why everyone's raving about them and I so nearly didn't get it so just going in with a tiny bit of bittersweet just to buff that out just with my Zoeva 226 smudger I'm going to take the tiniest bit literally just dip in ever so slightly to the black and I'm just going to smudge it right against the lash line there so literally just tucking it in right against the lash line and then going in with the brush that I've got ain't on and just blending that a little bit and then dipping into a bit of bittersweet and just running over the edge here to buff it out Okay, so I'm happy with that so far. I'm just going to nip off, pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then I'll be back to finish the eye look with you. So don't go anywhere. Okay, Glitter Primer is on. So first I'm going to go in with Angelina, this beautiful pink. I've been desperate to put the green and pinks together ever since I saw it. So just dipping into Angelina. It picks up pretty well on the brush and... I'm just placing her just on the most part of my lid. I'm leaving the inner part open there, ready for the next shimmer. This is beautiful. This is my perfect pink to go with greens. Absolutely love pink and green together. Just something really special about it, I think. I think so. I am getting a bit of fallout, but I'm sure it'll wipe away easy enough. Let's have a check. Yeah, there's just a little bit of fallout. And yeah, as I thought, it dusts away really easily. Look how beautiful it looks next to the green. I love pink and green together. Okay, 
and now going into limeade this beautiful green shimmer up here and limeade and I'm going to be placing that on the inner part of the lid where we left open look this is stunning I am so happy I made this choice absolutely gorgeous I cannot believe how beautifully these colors just go together this is such a an amazingly well thought out color story and just taking a bit more of Angelina and just to help with that blend a little bit more oh beautiful oh I am so so happy with that you have no idea right for the inner corner I'm going to go in with bless you this gorgeous light gold up there so just dipping into that beautiful wow I am so happy I've got this I'm just going to bring it under a little bit just to brighten up the inner part under the eye there. And I'm just going to take just a touch of that on the brow bone there. Just put a bit of highlight up there. Perfect. So I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I'll come back to show you the final look and also let you know what my first impressions are of the Feet on the Ground palette. Okay, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I'm so impressed with it. Everything I've put on my face will be listed in the description box below. Um, but today, this is the star of the show, the feet on the ground palette by made by Mitchell this for the few colors that I have actually played with has really impressed me I can really see what the hype is about that black just works perfectly for blending in and deepening up I have to say this pink is stunning I love that color especially with the greens I think this was a really really well thought out color story and I'm in love with it and I cannot wait to play with it more. So let me know if you guys have this palette. If so, what do you think of it? What are your favourite shades in the palette? Let me know in the uh, comment section below. So that's it from me for today. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. So I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.